In this video, I'm going to show you how to draw any function. Now, when I say functions, I mean here's my Cartesian plane, and I'm going to show you a few steps on how to draw a straight line, a parabola, a hyperbola, or the exponential function. Right, let's start with those steps. The first step is a scale. Now, sometimes they don't give you a Cartesian plane. You're going to have to go and draw your own. And you need to make sure that your intervals are spaced out evenly. So you need the same distance between each interval. For example, one centimeter, one centimeter, one centimeter. Okay, that is very important. Now, the second thing you're going to look at when you're drawing your Cartesian plane is to make sure that you add arrows everywhere. You need to add arrows on your Cartesian plane and you also if you have a function you need to add arrows there at the end just to show that it's still continuing all right then the third thing you need to look at is now you start determining the shape of your function so when I say determine the shape of your function what I mean is if you get a straight line it can be look like that when that's a positive line or you can have when the coefficient of the x is negative or you could have a smiley parabola or a frowny one you could have um, a hyperbola that's in the second and fourth quadrant or you could have a parabola that's in the first and third quadrant and then your exponential function also has like four different options here okay so firstly, determine your shape before you start drawing anything. Now the fourth step is to determine your x-intercept. When you want your x-intercept, you remember that y must be made 0. And then determine your y-intercept, where you let x be 0. Alright. Number five is you need to determine the turning point especially if it's a parabola and that's the only function that they'll ask you for a turning point the parabola unless later also maybe the cubic or third degree functions all right the sixth thing you need to look at is the horizontal asymptote now if i have a cartesian plane here like this and i'm looking for the horizontal asymptote it is a horizontal line y equals something and our function can never touch that asymptote now this will be also you look at it um, when you have the hyperbola or the exponential function only those two All right then the seventh thing you guessed it the vertical asymptote is next on the list once again, if I have a Cartesian plane, it's going to be a vertical line, and it's x equals what? Now, this only works for the hyperbola. That's the only function where you're going to look for a vertical asymptote. And this will also help you draw the function. And finally, if you've done all these steps and you've gone through everything you should now have quite a few points here and there and now you should be able to just connect the points so that you can maybe have your function but if not if you're still struggling um, set up a table a table can help you get some of those extra points that you need in a table you guess x values that you want in there and you calculate the corresponding y values and remember, you can also do this on the calculator. All right, that's the end of our video. Remember to share, like, subscribe, and become part of the Whiteboard SA team.